Are you ready to nail party? I will be using my Competitive Edge Custom Original Double Thick Extra Long Nail Forms, Extra Adhesion Nail Liquid, my Deep Well Ceramic Dappen Dish, Cashmere Prisma Powder, Drama Queen Gel Polish, a Neon Strawberry from my 2000s Princess Collection, Glass Slipper, my No Wipe High Gloss Hard Shine Top Gel, my Oval Art Brush, and my Large Flat Kalinske Red Sable Brush. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be sanitizing with my crystal spray decanter, available in peach, gardenia, or fragrance free. Sanitize your hands, then your client's hands. The nail has already been prepared and I applied my first coat of primer and I let it dry. This killed the germs on the nail and dried out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer right before I apply my acrylic so my primer's wet. This promotes adhesion. I dab my brush so I don't oversaturate the nail bed. Use this sparingly. I wipe off my brush before I place it back into my bottle so I don't contaminate my primer. This is going to be a tapered nail, so I'm going to squeeze my form a little bit tighter. And this is going to be a long nail, so I will be using larger balls, which means more liquid and more powder. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, pick up a large ball, place this ball out on the free edge. This is going to be a size 7. So I'll be making the tip of my free edge first. Pat it out. Bring in your side. Get the tip just how you like it. And since this is going to be tapered in, going to make sure I get it nice and tapered out here. There we go. Clean up the tip. Slightly longer than a seven. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. Another large ball. Place this ball slightly overlapping the nail bed. Let it flow. Bring it in, add it out. Stroke it out. Blending it in with the tip free edge ball. Getting your nice long tapered shape there. Tap down my powder, dip my brush in, wipe it away. This is a medium ball. Place this ball halfway down my nail bed, let it flow. Stroke it out, side, side, center. My primer is starting to dry a little bit. So I'm going to put just a little dab of primer in there. Because my primer always has to be wet when I apply acrylic. This promotes adhesion. Dip my brush in, wipe it away a little bit more. This is a small ball. Use my cuticle ball, place this ball 1 of an inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, center. Clean up around the edge here. There we go. Now I'm going to apply my stress ball. Dip your brush in, wipe it away. This is a medium sized ball. Place this ball almost at the cuticle, let it flow, and then stroke it out, side, side, center. Nice long strokes. The nail is starting to dry, so now I'm going to squeeze the C-curve. Start down at the nail bed. 
pressing in, work your way out all the way to the tip. This makes the nail nice and tapered and strong. So it looks really narrow, but it's also really, really strong, especially with the nail this long, you wanna make it really strong. And the C curve is what creates this strength. Now I'm going to take off the form and I like to pinch it. There we go, it releases it from the nail and then take it off. I will be using my disposable 180 grit long lasting zebra and my disposable clean finish buffer. And this buffer is made out of special material that doesn't leave any grit on the nail. It can be used dry, it can be used with oil, and it can be used with water. And they're so easy to use. Just peel off the back. Just stick it onto the plastic board. And then when you're done, you just peel it off and throw it away. Really easy. I'm going to score the edges of my file. So when I file around the cuticle, it's nice and smooth and I can just throw away my etcher. I'm going to file my nail in five steps. My first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the left. I hold the fingernail and the finger securely. File straight out from the nail groove. My second step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the right. Again, holding the finger and the nail securely. File straight out from the nail groove. Get it nice and straight. My third step in filing is shaping the tip of the free edge. This is going to be a squared off tip, so I hold my file straight up and down. Hold the fingernail securely. It goes back and forth until I get my square. My fourth step in filing is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Nice long strokes. There's a little road where we have acrylic, natural nail, cuticle. I'm going to place my file in that little road. File my product flush with the natural nail. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. I like to do a horseshoe pattern so I don't flatten out my nail by filing straight across. I want to go down, across the top, down on the other side. My fifth step in filing is my client's angle, so I turn the hand around and I look at the nail from the client's angle. This is what the client will be looking at for the next two weeks, so I want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. Double down towards the tip. Nice long strokes. Holding the fingernail and the finger securely. Especially with long nails, you always want to make sure you have a nice, nice hold on it. You don't want the nail or the finger wobbling around. When I'm doing a long tapered square, I always like to perfect the sides just a little bit before I finish. So I'm going to dust it off so I can see really good. And I take my file and I hold it straight up and down. It comes straight out from that nail groove. And just make sure that my nail is really straight. And do the same to the other side. Now I'm going to buff my nail. Nice long strokes. Go around the cuticle. Get the product nice and flush around the cuticle area. Out towards the tip. Again, holding the finger and the nail securely. Get it nice and smooth. Take off the sharp edges. 
Have the client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. Pour a small amount of clean it in a glass dappin dish. I will be applying my border with Drama Queen. Remember you can clean up, so don't worry about being perfect. Just do a nice long stroke down the side of the nail here. Come to the other side. Again, nice long stroke. And go across the top. Just frame it out. Looks so cute. Capture tip. Super fun, super easy. So cute. If you need to clean it all, super easy. Just a little clean it and your oval brush. Just come in here. Clean it up. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply Glass Slipper, a no wipe, high gloss, hard shine top gel. Apply this in nice long strokes over the entire nail. Cap the tip. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Apply conditioning cuticle oil available in peach or gardenia. This is good for the cuticles and for the natural nail. Your client should be applying this about three times a day. Makes the natural nail grow out really healthy and keeps your cuticles from getting hang nails, getting ragged, and it feels good. Now we have a Drama Queen Neon Border over Cashmere Prisma. So beautiful and so easy to do. When I'm finished, I just peel off my disposable file strips. Disinfect my boards. Fold up my towel and just throw it away. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.